Welcome to this quick start on LexChart. I want to give you five tips to help you get the most out of LexChart and create fantastic corporate structure charts. Tip number one, cards. A card is a fundamental building block in LexChart. It refers to these four rectangles. Any individual, company, business unit, department, division, anything you want to represent on the canvas, we call a card. So let's add a fifth card onto our canvas. We're just gonna to come to the toolbar and choose add new card. And this will open the card window, which has two sections, data and design. We will add data to the card and then we'll add some design features to that card over here on the right. And it will give us a preview of the result. So let's add a new entity. Now we wanna add some information about Great New Co. When we select in the labels here, you'll notice that the labels from all of the other cards are automatically available to us. This list will adjust and be dynamic based on the information that you provide on the canvas for other cards. You can always add a brand new one by simply typing. But in this case, I want jurisdiction. And we'll choose type. And this is fully searchable as well. So I can just type tax, select tax status, and pass through and save. And I've created my card with information. So now we have Great Newco LLC with this information on here as well. If we want to design this card, all we have to do is select it or double click it. And I can make uh, the border dashed, change it to blue. We could also change the orientation of the labels and data if you want. So they have this vertical presentation, completely up to you. You have full control over the elements inside the card. So here's Great New Co. That was tip number one, adding a new card. Tip number two is working with links. A link is a connection between two or more cards. So I wanna show you two techniques for adding links. The first is just to come to the toolbar and select Add New. Now remember with a link, in a corporate structure diagram, we're dealing with hierarchies. So we want a parent and subsidiary, or the entity above and below, manager, staff, owner, or investor, and company. So in this case, let's say that Frank Founder is the uh, owner or one of the owners of Great Nuco, that entity we just created. We've just established the connection between Frank Founder and Great Nuco in LexChart, but we want to describe that connection as well. So we're going to add interest and we're going to say Frank has 60%. Now, I could distinguish because there's unlimited data available to me. I could add management interest or voting interest or financial interest, any description of that connection that you want to put in here, and those labels would then be available uh, to all of your connections. But let's just save that. So now you'll see that we have this link between Frank Founder and Great Newco LLC. That was the first easiest way to create a link between two cards is to just use that add new link feature. But what if we want to create an entire structure quickly and easily? Well, we have the chart window for that, and that's this button here. This is a powerful feature in LexChart. I will just scratch the surface to show you how we're gonna create multiple connections among these three remaining cards. So this opens the chart window. The rest of it will become active once you place an entity in the center. So we're gonna select capital source. And what I wanna do is indicate who the parents are, but I could also put subsidiaries for capital source. But let's just come in here and say global pension is a parent and ocean group is a parent. If you want to remove these links anytime, all you have to do is select the unlink button and that will remove the link to Global Pension, but it will not remove the Global Pension card from the canvas, just the link to Capital Source. So let's also say that Capital Source, let's first see the result. So now we have two charts side by side on our canvas. We have Frank Founder and Great Newco, and we have the Capital Source structure here. Just to create a little breathing room, I'm going to expand the gap a little bit here between these entities. Now, I want to merge these. So Capital Source is going to make an investment in Great Nuco. There are a variety of ways to do it. I'm going to use that chart window again. I'll select Capital Source, open the chart window, and come down here and just pick Great Nuco 
and the chart. And there it is. We've now merged these two charts because Capital Source is now an investor in Great Nuco, and we see that line coming in automatically. LexChart has automatically handling the generational leveling for us, as well as the horizontal sorting for us as well. But I want to describe this link and indicate that it has the other 40%. So I'm going to choose interest. Again, that was available to me because of the connection between with Frank. And we'll say 40% and save that. And now Capital Source and Frank are both clearly owners in Great Nuco. That was tip number two, working with links. And there are two techniques, the link button and the chart window. Now, tip number three. When you have a large chart and there are lots of cards and lots of links, and it can be difficult to navigate and find where you're looking at, we provide the search panel over here on the left. The search panel will allow you to do a complete search of everything on the chart, and you'll see a list of the cards here. The links between the pairs of entities will be available here, and if you select them, they will be highlighted, and then you can interact with them up here as well. So, And you can multi-select from here as well uh, if you want, and that will select both of those links, or you can do that with cards also, and then you can perform your search here to find exactly what you want if you're dealing with a large chart. So that was tip number three. The search panel is really powerful and useful and you can just toggle it on and off. And this is a toggle will stay open if you leave it like that while you're working with the chart or you can hide it away if you choose. Tip number four, again, just scratching the surface. There are two layout modes in LexChart, what we call auto mode and manual mode. You'll see in the layout buttons up here that I am in auto mode. So I'm letting LexChart do all the layout for me. I simply add the cards and create the links and it automatically does the layout. What does that mean? Is there a more uh, interesting example of this? Absolutely. Let's go into great uh, Nuco here and we're going to create a generation skipping ownership structure. So recall that Ocean Group is one of the parents of Capital Source. Notice how I move Capital Source to the middle of the chart and it's showing me the parents up here. And here's Ocean Group and I can click on Ocean Group and move Ocean Group to the middle of the chart window. And you'll see that the only subsidiary or investment that Ocean Group has is Capital Source. But what if Ocean Group also makes a direct investment in Great Nuco? So I simply select that and I redraw the chart. LexChart has automatically drawn that line. It is showing me both the direct investment line as well as the indirect investment through Capital Source and its ownership as well. And of course, I could go in and edit the interest percentages uh, and whatnot for this chart. You'll notice that the interest line and the interest amount is now uh, on top of this line here. I can fix that in a variety of ways. One thing is I can just shift to curve lines and frequently that will resolve any overlapping. If you like the curve lines, they're really useful when you have lots of parents or lots of sub subsidiaries. It makes the delineation between the links really crystal clear. But we also have manual mode. And if I switch to manual mode, all of the elements in the chart are selectable and movable. So for example, I can select this interest 40% and I can just move it up if I want. I can also select and move any of the elements here and that includes the lines. So I can select the line and move it back down. So LexChart will let me manipulate all of these elements anywhere I want, allowing me to make adjustments for my needs. So that was tip number four, auto layout mode and manual mode. I recommend the tutorials on our website for more details about auto mode and manual mode. The fifth and final tip is when you have the chart the way you want it, it's time to share it with your colleagues. And you can download the chart in a variety of formats that you can then uh, freely distribute to your colleagues. But you can also share and collaborate the chart as well and let LexChart handle the presentation of the chart. When you come to share, you will be able to enter any email address you want and you can select their access privileges. So a viewer can only view the chart, can make no changes to it. 
An editor can make changes to the chart but cannot share it or delete it for you. And a co-owner has all of the rights that you do. So they can onward share the chart, they can delete it. So these are your choices for sharing the chart. You can copy a link to the chart which will be private to you and the people you've shared it with and send it to them. Remember, if they don't have a LexChart account, they can sign up for the free trial, get access to the charts that you've shared, with no obligation whatsoever. So we encourage you to share the chart with them and let them come and collaborate with you on those charts. Very simple. We appreciate your time. Have fun with LexChart. Let us know if we can be of any help. You could always come to the help tool here and see, get access to our tutorials, documentation, and examples. And of course, always get help if you need. Thank you.